Hey guys. Okay, so we're on to uh, next little step here, and that is debarking uh, these lovely little critters. Um, I thought I'd show you this little tool. It's called a draw shave. Um, and this is what you're going to need with something like this, a draw knife, to get the bark off, um, um, off the trunks. So um, I thought I'd give you a little show on how that works. This one is made by the Columbus... McKinnon Corp. I left the tag on especially so you guys could see that. Um, it's a 10 inch draw shave, draw knife, and uh, it seems to work just fine for the size logs you just see here. I think if I got into some bigger stuff like um, this tree right here, I'd probably want to go for a 13 incher at least. Um, but Hey, let's put this to work, show you how it works. Um, I've used it a few times, obviously you can see that. Started using it for the first time yesterday and it works pretty well. Um, the edge that came on this was so sharp. Um, every time I hit a little notch in the tree, it would actually um, put a dent in the blade. So I kind of had to put a little bit of a, um, um, take some of that sharpness off. Otherwise it was just sort of, uh, you know, damaging the blade. Um, but it does, it did come pretty, pretty sharp. Um, but too thin if you know what I mean the edge was a little too thin and it was um, buckling and, and getting dented so um, it's working pretty good right now so let's give it a let's give it a try Yeah, I know. I could probably save my back by not bending down like this. But, um, I just didn't feel like building a table right now. I just want to get these logs peeled, so. Um, I definitely recommend getting a log up on a slope so you can stand and not bend as much as I'm doing. But I'm still a young buck, so I can deal with it for now. Um, when we get a little bit higher here, if I get a few logs up, I'll do this on top of a few logs. It'll definitely save my back, but I just want to get some work done. I don't have much time out here, so just trying to power through it. <laughs> 